There's a lot of movies based on internet characters. This one happens to be another one. As a cinema snob who doesn't really leave the house and mostly just watches movies that are over 20 years old, I have no idea what's playing at the local multiplex, but luckily I can get a glimpse of it by checking out the big trailers of the week and also looking at the marquees. Uh, wait, this is 2019, right? Anyway, we've got Mavericks, Cats, and Clowns, which is sort of like my pitch for another Cinema Snob movie. I'm hearing great things about this Cats trailer. This I definitely have to see. Plus, we never talk about cats around here. Oh no, I sense another cameo. Just because I'm a cat doesn't mean I like musical theater. I'm a Skinnered man! Okay, Lloyd. This one's directed by Tom Hooper of Les Miserables and The King's Speech, and just look at that ratio! Uh, 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 okay, well, clearly a bunch of dog people voted on that. You've already got your canine stage musical, dog people. I expect to see a lot of frolicking and absolutely nothing fetishy. Hang on a sec. Oh, okay, now we can continue. Hmm, I forgot how much cats look like a deleted scene from Elm Street 4 where Freddy turned the school cat girl into a freaking cat. And maybe it's been a while since I picked up a history book, but was Elizabeth the first a cat? Maybe I'm not the right person to talk about this because clearly the target demographic is cats. This is offensive. This puts actual cat actors out of work. This is blackface for cats. Well, I don't know. The, the music is probably good. <laughs> Idris Elba is going to be an excellent Mel Blanc. We've also come a long way in our movie ratings, too. Now anything below an R could feature a tail in the ass. The casting here is certainly impressive. There's James Corden as the love child of the Penguin and Catwoman from Batman Returns, Jennifer Hudson as Cool Cat, Idris Elba as Top Cat, Ian McKellen as that racist Siamese from the Aristocats. What?! There's Taylor Swift as Dikachu from Strokemon, and Rebel Wilson as Rebel Wilson, but this time she's a cat. <sighs> She'll be the one cat that doesn't land on all fours. It's still gonna be all about the music. Touch me! It's so easy to leave me! No, Lloyd, not you, although, uh, <laughs> he does seem to be getting into it now. For as many people shocked by the trailer, it looks like what a hundred million dollar movie production of Cats would probably look like. Maybe they should have just made that 2D animated movie Spielberg wanted to make. But if I alter the credits a little, we find out that it is definitely Lloyd approved. That is slander! I'll take you to court over this! Hashtag not all Lloyds! I just hope there's gonna be a flash dance style scene where she dumps a bucket of cat litter on herself while on stage. And that's what happens when someone sees fame, snorts a line of catnip, and says, I want to show about cats! It's like Rent, only they're worried about alley scraps. Ooh, ooh the wave of the coked out musical of the late 70s and early 80s is back, baby! Now let's jump ahead to season four of Stranger Things, where this time they're all grown up. In IT Chapter 2, the adaptation of Stephen King's classic novel, we see that Mike has stuck around in sunny Los Angeles waiting for a plot line for his character to finally happen. And it's got something to do with chuds. It's gonna be great seeing this meeting of the Losers Club, but unfortunately they just sit around and talk about how much they hate the Big Bang Theory. I could talk about the other characters, but let's face it, they're all just gonna be different personalities of James McAvoy, except this one. Hello? Kate! It's been over 20 years and you still don't know that clown is messing with you? And you're all ignoring that Chucky is definitely somewhere in this carnival. Can we at least hear the clown talk? One more step and the red balloon becomes the dead balloon. Mm, these sequels get so far-fetched. Hachi-machi! 
Pennywise does talk a lot here, almost more so than in the entire first movie. Maybe he'll be more of a character here, instead of sometimes being a special effect and then sometimes having a stroke due to the makeup. <laughs> there's more than two chapters in the book, and where the hell's the turtle? You know who could defeat that crazy clown? Tom Cruise. Ah uh, yes, Top Gun. It's that movie that I say that I hate to seem cool, but I've secretly watched it ten times this week. You've heard of the meat sweats, I've got the Top Gun sweats. This 34 years later sequel is gonna give me what I need. The resurrection of producer Don Simpson and Maverick stuck in the desert, but he survives because he can drink pure gasoline. Which is what has Maverick been up to in these last decades? Only man to shoot down three enemy planes in the last 40 years. <laughs> and that was just today before lunch. This man is a machine. You should be at least a two-star admiral by now. Why is that? Because I will always be 35. I sure hope we get the return of some classic Kenny Loggins music. No, oh, no, not that one. I'm suddenly very worried about this sequel. Ooh, not anymore though. It's lovingly filmed in Tony Scott vision, but unfortunately we do not see the afterlife where Goose bullies Gilbert from Revenge of the Nerds. And hang on just a sec. <laughs> and I'm back with more Tom Cruise being awesome. I could do that. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Tom Cruise may be a god. Your kind is headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. I could live to be a hundred and he'll still be climbing buildings by simply walking up them vertically. There's Tom Cruise, Jets, John Hamm, more Tom Cruise, so the, So much of this is done practically and other movies have problems shooting real cats and clowns. Although I'll still tell you that I hate it just so I can seem so cute. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go cheer Lloyd up from that cat's trailer. I'll give him a ride in a jet. <laughs> He'll love it!